What's up, everybody? Dr. Peeves here. I was figuring about time I meant to do it when I had about 1,500 views, which is pretty amazing. On the past uh, tank video, about time that I did an updated build for what I'm currently using for tanking. Unfortunately, due to a lot of IRL issues I've not been able to play near as much as I had before but live takes president over a video game but let's just go over it so for solar we got deep root use a con void gauntlet blessing of the forefathers for uh, amulet just yeah divine health and then forefather recovery great Smooth bone ring, still can't really find a better ring. I really think you're going to have to roll pretty much a perfect one. And then refreshing regenerating on the earring. Then on shield, we have a straight con, sturdy energy, refreshing, sturdy, just tower shield. Then for the actual armor itself, we have the Meushton set. I just call them Snake Bro because, dear God, everything, and then they all have, uh, besides the pants, they all have uh, onyxes in them as well. Then for the pants, we have the ones that um, Thorpe drops. These are pretty nice. I was using some custom rolled pants for a corrupted board. Uh, Contagious Reverse Stab is more of a PvP ability, um, but I have a set of pants for Corrupted Board, Ancient Board, and Angry Earth Board. Uh, Deep Root to me, just, yeah, absolutely the best sword. I mean, Get everything you want, life stealing, enchanted, refreshing move. Cooldowns quicker, gaining you some life back so you can stay in, tanking longer, and then enchanted doing just a little bit more damage to help out your DPSs. While I continue to stay with Void Gauntlet, a lot of times now you need to pull certain enemies and all that, and now instead of having to have a DPS or a your healer do it you can just do it that way you've already pulled them you've already got the aggro they can get oh do whatever they want void gauntlet provides so much support in this build let's see and first the musket's not really here for a side weapon then we carry hatchet hammer and Pretty much all of these end up going into at least play during different parts and dungeons. Crowd control, Berserk is basically an extra taunt um, if you need an extra grab well, and this is just basically for Chartus. I mean, it's got Ancient Bane on it. I mean, basically bleed and perforate's about the best you can do against Chartus. Um, so it just helps him go down faster. Basically, I would switch out like that against Chartus. A lot of times you're switching out the Void Gauntlet, uh, maybe the Hammer for some crowd control, maybe need an extra grab well where you're at. A lot of times, just an extra taunt off the Berserk. But most of the time, it is the Void Gauntlet. What, the Void... That's just attributes running around. Let's go to... What the board gauntlet provides is oblivion. This is your best ability right here. It provides so much support for you, so much support for your DPS. Um, it's just all around. It lets you block longer. It lets your DPS do more damage. If you're on comms, you can communicate trading out oblivions with your healer, with your DPS, with all that. You can keep an oblivion up throughout mobs and just clean them out. The sword, rarely use it, but sometimes petrifying 
screen. Uh, very good at just a CC. I mean, not really a CC, but just locking down an enemy for a second. Maybe get them off your healer. Um, the sword can also do some brand and other stuff, but mostly oblivion and then the scream just maybe you want to lock down a target for a little bit and it's got some range to it <sighs> not what I meant to do then we'll go over to sword and shield I don't really think this has changed any since the last time reverse stab just get those cooldowns going Shield Bash, just get aggro. The Fiant Stance, of course, your go-to, and then just defensive formation. I mean, you can go with a build that's more DPS heavy, with maybe like Leaping Strike. Um, so someone in the comments mentioned before that Leaping Strike can help, you know, maybe get an enemy off of a healer, but yeah, you're also then maybe dragging the five or six enemies that you have on you on to your healer, so can be a double edged sword. Um Whirling Blade, man. Eh. There's some good damage here and then of course leadership, just you know, increasing the damage is just great. The more DPS heavy version of this is you're on comms, you're with a group that you're tr you 100% trust, y'all know what gonna, you're going to do. For everything else, I would just go with the safe route. Hatchet, like I said, just basically you're using Berserk to get a um, little bit of an extra taunt going. Hammer, completely just crowd control. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Great axe, like I said, it's just basically if an extra grab well is needed. Let's see if there's anything else. Other than that, so far I really like this build, especially compared to the other one, was just using the Void Bent. Void Bent, as mentioned, is a decent starting tank set. Not, it will carry you upper into the higher um, mutes, but getting that they've added mute tops and everything that they're getting more difficult. It, it's just not cutting it anymore. Um, there are more pieces of different sets that I would like to get to mix and match in here and there. Yes, like I said, there's been stuff going on, but right now, this is about where I sit with Tank. Oh yeah, like I said, Spear. I don't think we covered my what I have on Spear. Basically, the only time I use Spear every once in a while and Depths or um, Dynasty, I'll bring out Spear just for a little help on DPS, but it's just basically for charter spot. Give him Bren, give him Bleed. I mean, it's just straight up, it's got Con and Strength. You got your Ancient Bane on it, so that's basically the only time I'll use it. And of course, I'll change out the gems as need be on all of these. Um, Right now, sticking with uh, physical ward because everything is rolled more towards elemental than being balanced, just because that's where um, the Naishtan set is kind of based. But anyway, that's kind of where I am sitting right now on my current tank build. Uh, I'd be interested to hear y'all's thoughts again. I appreciate all the feedback from last time. And like I said, there's stuff that I want to improve. Life will be life, but we will continue to improve it. And we'll probably have another update video soon. Um, but anyway, like I said, I hope to hear some feedback from y'all. And I appreciate everything from 
all of y'all from the last video and i hope y'all are just as responsive to this video again thank y'all so much this has been dr peeves with my take on my 625 tank build i'll catch y'all later peace